Hi friends, my name is Al or Alilstarnerd on Instagram and welcome to today's episode of Oddly Satisfying. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through the time that I spent with Evolve, who is also the sponsor of today's video. Thank you, Evolve. If you guys have seen any of my videos or followed me for a while on Instagram, you probably know that I didn't go to art school. While I don't regret that decision and I think it was right for me, there are a lot of things that I feel like I missed out on and I feel like there are holes in my knowledge when it comes to art. There are a lot of technical terms that I don't know, um, techniques, again, terms, <laughs> a lot of things that I just don't know how to articulate or how to explain how I know how to do or just know how to do in general and I can't transfer that knowledge to you. Well, I don't think you need art school to become a great artist, there are a lot of things that I feel like I'm lacking in and that is where Evolve comes in. Evolve is an online course and community that aims to teach everyone from absolute beginner to advanced artists the technical proficiency in the artistic process. So basically, it's art school, but for a fraction of the price and from the convenience of your home and without the overwhelmingness of like deadlines and school. <laughs> You're speed running college, basically. Evolve teaches you literally everything you need to know about the technical process of art, focusing on value, edge, and color. The curriculum is set up to be really accessible for everyone and it takes you through the understanding of the separate components of paintings and art pieces and then how to bring all of that together to create absolute masterpieces. All the while that you're doing this hands-on work, you know your peers and your instructors are doing it right alongside you. Evolve is based on the curriculum that is taught at the Art Academy which has been successfully teaching brilliant artists for over a decade. It's founded by Kevin Murphy who is a super successful professional portraitist and illustrator. He's developed this curriculum based on what he found was most efficient and effective and important in the artistic process, and he's, he's pared it down to the most important parts. The curriculum is chopped up into four separate blocks, starting with the absolute basics, like understanding value and edge, like you're literally just coloring in squares, all the way to masterpieces. Like the difference between the beginning and the end, insane, genuinely mind blowing. So you start with coloring in squares, you end with masterpieces all in the course of a year. I had the pleasure of trying out the first few lessons of this curriculum and I'm gonna show you guys what I did and what I thought about it. Let's go. What's really cool about Evolve is they send you everything you need to follow the curriculum in a little box. Um, you start with what you need for the first few lessons or the first few blocks and then later when you're ready to move on, you get another box. This box contains four pads of canvas paper, a pad of disposable palette paper, transfer paper, transfer images, a checklist for each assignment, a knitting needle and ruler to measure your subjects, palette knife, clove oil, linseed oil, an eyedropper, paint brushes in sizes 2, 6, and 10, and four tubes of Old Holland gray oil paints. I was really excited to get these supplies, if you couldn't tell, uh, because the only professional level oil painting supplies that I have are used up hand-me-downs from my great uncle, and I don't even know how to use any of them. So getting this stuff, which is like my own and new and fresh, was really fun and cool and exciting. Um, the only stuff I actually knew how to use were the palette paper and the canvas paper, but all of that is stuff that you're taught you're walked through everything and you're taught how to take care of it. And that's all stuff that eventually will become second nature. So like I said, the program is split up into four blocks. Block one is all about value and form, starting with literally learning how to like put paint on canvas, the brush strokes and making clean edges, just making your paint look smooth and nice, literal basics. You work with your four paints, your four grays, and you learn how to take them from literal basic shapes into absolute masterpieces, or at the very least full paintings. Uh, it's crazy to see what how much you can do with just these four tubes of paint. It's really cool. <laughs> Block two teaches you how to draw from life. It helps you understand proportion. Um, and it's, it's starting those foundations of learning how to make your own masterpieces, your own original paintings. Block three introduces color, and then block four is bringing it all together and helping you actually create those masterpieces. It's ins I know I already said this, but it is absolutely insane seeing the difference between block one paintings and block four paintings on their website. Seriously, go check it out. Like seeing, like knowing what I did in block one and knowing what other people are doing in block four, it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense how it's baffling. It's so cool. It's, a, it's so impressive. I mean, I believe it because seeing their lessons, I get it, but also I don't get it. It's crazy. 
So the lessons are delivered through these video lessons with Kevin where he's walking you through every step of the process. He is basically holding your hand through every breaststroke, but not only is he doing that, but he's also teaching you, like giving lessons along the way. He talks a lot about, you know, just general lessons about taking care of your supplies, why he's doing what he's doing, why each step matters, and he's also giving anecdotes that really like are very poignant and really bring home the the lessons that he's trying to teach they definitely stuck with me and i think they'll stick with you too like I, I learned a lot just from hearing him talk it's really cool even in just the first few lessons there was so much that i learned about taking your art seriously every step of your process seriously i, I see my sketch as a preliminary aspect of painting. I don't see it as an important part of the painting, but he was saying that if you see it that way, you're already starting your painting on a low point. And if you take every step of your painting seriously, you're setting yourself up for success. And there are like little nuggets like that that were so poignant and really like stuck with me that will absolutely stick with me forever. And I can only imagine that there's a lot more of that the further you get into the lessons. So there are multiple videos for every lesson. And like I said, Kevin takes you through absolutely every step. So you're never second guessing yourself. You're never confused about what you're doing and what you're supposed to be doing or why you're doing it. Um, he's, he's holding your hand every step of the way. It's all broken down step by step. So you never feel overwhelmed or like it's going too fast for you. And of course you always have the option to rewatch all of the videos again and revisit whenever you feel like you need to. The program is generally set up to be completed in a year or even under a year, but it's set up to work around your schedule. So if you're busy, it can always take longer. And if you're not, it can always take shorter, which is really cool um, because working at your own pace is to me very important. That's one of the reasons I don't think I would have liked art school is having to work at someone else's like deadlines and pace. I never would have been able to handle that. Also, once you've bought the lessons, you literally never lose access. You can always go back to revisit them, which is awesome. Um, literally whenever you need to like go back to reference something you can love that anyways once you finish the lesson you submit your assignment for review and once you get your feedback you can move on to the next lesson so once you've completed a lesson you reach a page that tells you your assignment which is generally like what you've just worked on with kevin throughout your lesson uh, and it links you to a page where you can submit that with just a simple photo taken with your phone doesn't have to be fancy um, and that is the homework tool at this homework tool, you can upload multiple images of your assignment and you also can enter like a little comment in a little comment section. Uh, for my first assignment, I had gotten paint like all over my hands and smeared my entire canvas page. And I like made a little joke about that in the comment section. And I actually got really thoughtful feedback about the piece and also about the fact that I got paint on my hand. And I don't know why, but it felt like I felt so special. I was like, oh my gosh, like they read it, they saw it, they heard and like I felt seen. And it was just cool to know that like, even though it's online, they're really taking the time to, it's so simple. I don't know why I felt so touched, but it's, it's just cool to know that they're taking the time to really not only look at your assignment, but hear what you're saying. And I'm sure if I had said anything like I'm having a hard time, they would have absolutely come with so much encouragement and feedback about that too. Something as simple as me getting paint on my hands. Um, if that, you know, evoked such, encouraging feedback, I can only imagine what something more substantial would have evoked. When I had my one-on-one -on -one call with Piper, who's a head instructor, um, we'll talk about that later, I mentioned to her how I had felt so special, how I really appreciated the feedback that came with that assignment. Um, and she explained to me that having like that connection, that one-on-one -on -one personableness, um, they put that into, they, they try to put that into each student as much one-on-one -on -one time as possible, because that's a huge part of of creating that environment of encouragement and also of a community, that sense of a community, which I think is awesome. Anyways, the feedback that you get is always really clear and helpful. It's not just like, oh, it's messy, try again, or it looks good. It's always, I mean, even when I had no points that they were like, oh, this is bad, which they wouldn't say, but you know what I'm saying. Um, it was always like, here's things to keep in mind. Here's things to remember. And every time I was like, oh yeah, true. Like that would be better. Or that is stuff I need to keep in mind. Like every time you get feedback, it is going to be like helpful and effective. And it, it's never going to be just a vapid, like looks good try again it's always going to have something like helpful in it and i think that's awesome that they give such helpful feedback because even when i was in art classes in high school i didn't get feedback like that so that's really really cool 
So overall, the homework tool lets you see your submitted work, so you can see the past things that you submitted, um, the past feedback that you've gotten. It also lets you see like your current stuff, the future stuff, and it also lets you see what other people are submitting and what they're working on. And that is what I think is really cool about Evolve. It isn't just the lessons, but it's also like a full community as well. You have the opportunity to work with students all over the world. Evolve offers one-on-one -on -one meetings with your instructors, and it also has live group chats and online homework rooms to give like that open studio experience. One thing that I always wanted was being able to go to a studio class, and that's what I always thought that I would really like about art school. And you actually get that, even though it's online, even though Evolve is online, you get that with Evolve, and that's absolutely amazing. Like I said, in the homework tool, you also get to see what other students are submitting for their assignments. So you also get to have that opportunity to see what other people are doing. Not necessarily how you compare, make it a competition, but you get to see what other people are doing and how maybe you can improve. There's also a private Facebook group where you can speak to past and present students. So even though this is an online program, you are never going to feel like you're alone in this journey, which is incredible. I literally, I can't tell you how cool I think this is. It's, I think it's so freaking like awesome. It's so fun. So like I said, you can schedule these one-on-one -on -one sessions with your instructor. You can also just email if you ever have any questions, but I had the opportunity to talk to Piper, the head instructor. I had quite a few questions that Piper answered very thoroughly and wonderfully, offering a lot of insight about how and why the program is the way that it is. Since the most art education I have is high school AP, um, I haven't really experienced what college art is like or what that environment is like, so there were some things that in you know, in the program, in the lessons, kind of took me aback or surprised me or I didn't really understand the significance of, and Piper definitely like helped me see why all of this is, like everything in the lesson is there for a reason. One thing I asked Piper about is an emphasis that I noticed in perfection in the artistic process. Uh, she said that the goal is never perfection. The goal is control and accuracy and learning those from literally step one, step zero, is going to help you be the best that you can be later on. The program starts with these basics taught via realism, but Literally everything that you're taught can later be extrapolated into literally any artistic genre, which is amazing. And for me, from where I'm at, seems hard to hard to grasp now, but you can see in the pieces that are submitted in Block 4 that that is absolutely true. These basics are basics that can, that they, they can apply to literally any area of art. We also talked about the importance of the personalization of the feedback and how much detail is put into it, the importance of the community, all sorts of stuff. Um, Piper was just really wonderful and kind. Piper, if you're watching this, thank you so much for your time. I had a wonderful time talking to you. In the small fraction of the program that I tried, I know that I already learned so much that is absolutely going to help me, not only in learning oil paints, which I hope to continue doing, but just in my art process in general. So many things I learned are going to stick with me forever and make me think about my own art process differently from now on. I absolutely believe in this program. I truly, genuinely believe that this could help anyone, no matter your skill level, um, who wants to get better at art and understand the technical process of art. So if you are at all interested, I truly, truly implore you to go check out their website and look into it for yourself because I think it's such an amazing opportunity, such an amazing program that is offered. Like, I can't believe how effective it is. I don't know. I, it's, it's amazing. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> if you want to go to art school or you're on the fence about it, if you wanted that art education, that classical training, but you don't want to spend the money, you don't want to leave, you don't have the time for it, you're not sure that this is what you want to do as your full career, so you don't feel good in spending all that time and energy into going to school for it. If there's something you holding you back or you're not sure it's the right environment for you, there's not the right fit, I truly think you should check out Evolve because it is like the easiest answer. Like it is all of that core knowledge that you're gonna need, all that technical training without any of that superfluous stuff around it. And art school is maybe for you and that's awesome. But for people like me, who maybe it's not the right option, but you still want that, that information, Evolve is a great, great answer. So thank you Evolve for sponsoring this video, for supporting me and for letting me try out this amazing program and learn so much in such a short amount of time. The link to their website will be down below, so check it out. Any other resource you need will be down there as well. Um, seriously, go check them out. They're awesome.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Uh, you can go check me out on Instagram and Twitter. You can commission me over there if you're feeling, feeling crazy. If you like this video, you can like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever you're feeling. Um, it helps me out, whatever you do. So thank you. Um, uh, yeah, go water your plants. I'm growing a sweet potato, the sweet potato vines. It's growing like crazy. So if you need an easy plant, sweet potato. There you go. Um, what else? Go pet your animals, call, text your friends, um, read a book, spend some time with yourself, go do some art. Bye guys.